let's recall what we have done in the previous lessons and we have created base icon component to represent every icon in our application. So in here we are importing all icon components we are currently using. And down here we also created an object which consists of all available icons. And then we're basically reusing this base icon component whenever we need to display an icon. And the way how we specify which icon to show is actually by passing prop called name. But what we're going to use one icon more than once. In that case we're gonna have to pass property name with a string value as many times as many icons of that particular type we're using. So in order to avoid repeating those names we're going to create separate module with all the icons. Let's call this module icons.js. And in here we're basically going to create constants for every icon name. And then whenever some component needs to use an icon component we're going to import that icon component as well as the name of an icon represented by a constant. And in case in the future we're going to decide to use different icon library, we will only have to change an icon name in one place. And that is value of a constant which is gonna represent icon name. So let's just cut this import of all icons and paste it in our new module icons.js. And also let's copy that icons object and move it inside of our icons module. And just to follow convention of naming constants, let's use all capital letters and export this object. And now let's start defining constants for every icon name. So I'm going to create in here constants for every icon. And each of these constants should be exported. And every constant name will start with the prefix icon. And now one by one I'm gonna go through all these constants and assign appropriate names that corresponds to every icon. Here the same we're gonna use capital letters in each constant name and then we will basically use these constant names as keys. I have actually lost one more icon that should be in here. It is icon plus. Let's add it right here and then we're basically going to use these constants as keys for icons object. And now we're going to import this icons object in our base icon component. So let's switch over to base icon component and write down an import statement for icons object. Let's not forget and also use proper name in the template. And then we're going to assign validator function to property name. This will be called is icon valid. This validator doesn't exist yet, but soon we're gonna create it. So firstly, let's go ahead and write down an import statement for this function is icon valid. And then inside of validators.js, right after is page valid function, let's declare an expert function with a name is icon valid, which will take one param, which is an icon name we're about to validate. And then this function is going to use our icons object that we have to import from our new icons module. And the way we're going to validate an icon will be as follows. Let's just use keys method and extract all keys from the icons object like this. This expression is going to return array which consists of keys. And then we're basically going to check if past icon is included in this array by using method includes like so. And this way we will make sure that icon name is valid. So now we're gonna have to go through all the components that currently use base icon component and import appropriate constant names and pass these constants as a prop name to every base icon component. So let's start with now item component. So as we can see in here we're fetching icon name from icon property of now item object. So we have to go to that file where these objects are defined and that is inside constants.js. Here we have array of now items where every object has property called icon. For now it stores string icon names but since we have already defined constants for every icon name we can just do the following. Let's go ahead and import all icon names that we need in this file. It will be icon clock, icon list bullet, as well as icon chart bar. We're importing all this from icons.js. And now we're basically going to replace every icon name with appropriate constant. 
So for the first icon, we're going to use icon clock. For the second one, the constant will be icon list bullet. And finally, for the third icon, we're going to use icon chart bar, like so. Next, let's go inside of the header progress component. As we can see in here, we're using one icon called check circle. So we're going to import icon check circle constant and then basically use this constant as a value for the property name for base icon component. Let's just fix a pass to import icons module and switch over to the next component. It will be activity item. So this component uses icon called trash. So we have to import icon name from icons module just like we have done in previous file. And then let's pass this constant to prop name of base icon component. Next file where base icon component is used is base select. So in here we're using X mark icon. Let's go ahead and also import appropriate constant icon X mark from icons module. And in the template, let's use this constant for property name. And now let's continue doing that. Next component is the activity form component. In here, we're also using only one base icon with the name plus. So again, we're gonna import icon plus constant, scroll down to the very end of this file and use icon plus for property name of base icon component, just like before. And finally, there is one more file where we have to do the same replacement and that is timelines to watch component. And by the way, in here, we're using three icons. So we're gonna have to import three constants. Let's do it in here. For this file, we need to import icon arrow pass constant, icon pose, as well as icon play. And then in the template, we're gonna do this replacement for every base icon component. For the first icon, let's use icon arrow pass. For the second one, we're gonna use icon pose. And for the third icon, let's use constant icon play, like this. So now in the browser, if we quickly go through our application, we will see that all icons are still in place. That means we have successfully refactored our icon components. And right now, if we're gonna select one icon component and take a look to the right side of your developer tools, we can see that every base icon component now imports icons object that we have defined in another module dedicated specifically to icons called icons.js. So now one more time, let's take a look at base icon component. As we can see, the first thing we're doing here is importing icons object from icons module. And then this component also accepts property called name. This is the way how we're specifying which icon to show and based on this prop, we are extracting appropriate icon component and pass it further to this dynamic component, which is going to render appropriate icon. And inside of icons.js module, we have an import of all icons currently used in our application. And then we have declared constants for every icon and also used those constants as keys for an icons object. And this is how we are able to use icons object for this dynamic component to properly show particular icon. And the link to the source code of this project will be as always in the video description.